Okay, let's see what's going on here. I, I circled this part of the question, m slash slash equals zero comma minus one. I'm not sure what that is all about, but I'm gonna share my screen and go to the Desmos online graphing calculator. Here is the function, let me, um, this, uh, disable the view of that second function there. Here is the line y equals x, the dotted red line. Here's the line, the green line, y equals mx plus c. And I can change the values of m or c to change where that line appears. And here is the graph of another line with the function with the definition y equals 1 over m times x minus c over m. And, and this is your value of k and l as the pet question was posed. And you can see that the black line is a reflection of the green line through the line y equals x. And when you reflect a function through the line y equals x, you're actually graphing the inverse function. And as I change these, you'll see that the black line is a reflection of the green line. And I've also put an ordered pair on each graph. Here's like 3 comma 6.8, and its reflection is the point 6.8 comma 3. In other words, all you do is interchange the x and the y coordinates to reflect a point over the line y equals x. So if I go back to Desmos and ask the question, how do I find the, the uh, definition for the, the new line, it's just like finding the inverse of the function y equals mx plus c. That is, we interchange the x and the y coordinates, which is what I've done here, then solve for y. So my equals x minus c, then divide every term by m on the right side, and you get 1 over m times x minus c over m. And so this is your value of k, and this is your value of l minus c over m. Okay, there you go.